Greetings once again, negators. Dudes, dudes, then back again with another episode of Undead Unlocked. Where previously, after Billy's shocking betrayal and reveal as a member of Under, the organization opposed to the Union, Billy had used the UMA burn to steal the Round Table, with the only thing our members were able to recover being the book Apocalypse, with Ishin creating a new round table out of- Ishin created that out of one of the pillars of Stonehenge, didn't they? Oh my god. Oh, I mean, there's a big hole at Stonehenge too, so. Eh. Juiz finally gives up the ghost about what's been going on, something that has had seeds sown all across the series, specifically once we got introduced to the Union, is the fact that Juiz has been living in a time loop. Every time all of the rules added reach 101, hitting Ragnarok, the world resets. And apparently, I think they said thanks to the Ark, Juiz has been able to keep her memories of said event, the only other person remembering being Victor, who always regenerates, even after the world's destruction. Meaning Andy, probably a lot older than we actually think. In fact, the entire Earth blows up. And that has actually been the meteorites raining down every time Fuko uses the ultimate potential of her unluck ability. Juiz created the Union to kill God and stop this cycle of destruction and rebirth. Somehow, maybe through one of the artifacts, Billy was able to retain his memories of the Earth's destruction, potentially because of coming in contact with undead? I wonder. Regardless, Billy has taken things into his own hands, feeling that Juiz has been ineffective in her method. With this revelation, the rest of the Union decide to fully follow behind Juiz and her action, understanding the desperation and the sometimes brutal nature of which they've performed things, deciding to stop both Billy and Under as well as kill God, it really is an RPG, Juiz tells Andy and Fuko about a mysterious book that seems to have information both past and future. What is this book? Join me as I find out, won't you? Yep, that's the book I use as my life's bible. Oh god, it's her manga. Man, her room is so cute. I do miss Fuko with long hair. I don't mind the short hair, don't get me wrong, but yeah, she looks really cute with long hair. <laughs> the masterpiece by Ano Una Sensei, who holds the longest running shoujo manga record. Wait, longest running shoujo manga? What is the actual longest running shoujo manga? It's Hana to Ume. Or, oh, in Hana to Ume. Huh. Current longest run is The Glass Mask, started in 1976 and it's still going. Infrequently, 49 volume. Then Patelario, started two years behind The Glass Mask, has 101 volume. Yeah, some of these have been on and off again, okay. So it would only be that comedy one with 101 volume. It has many volumes as one piece. Oh my god. Known as You Me to You From Me. Unknown. Right. And, <laughs> wait, how many of those do you have? I mean, Juiz is kind of stacked, but I didn't realize that's all from the books she's hiding. <laughs> have you read this? This is from volume 20 of You Me, the Space Sorcerer Club Invasion Arc. Oh god, don't tell me they predicted the alien invasion. The Space Sorcerer Club is about to blow up the entire school, but the team's captain, Spiral Shadow Justice, it looks like you eat. This is absurd. The show is all the goals that restore his peace. Doesn't this story sound familiar? Yeah. Holy crap. So she knew that's why she said the arrival of UMA Galaxy he was fine because she knew it was gonna happen. The alien invasion. I just have to negate that justice. Oh man, I love that. I love it when the title comes up of their abilities. Just the sound effect of <laughs> It's so extra. Take that, super space shredder. The other show the other day. <laughs> she still has more. How are you hiding all of that? The Rotten High School Melee arc in volume 11 to 18 can look like a prediction of the spoil battle. Huh. I thought this was a romance novel. Oh god, does that mean in the anime they showed something odd in the beginning, like a world in ruin, snow. Oh, was that the prediction of the earth coming to an end? I thought that was just a visual metaphor. I didn't think that was plot relevant. Jump comics, I love that. We need to investigate. <laughs> oh, Ishin reads it too. Question box. Yes, Top? Are you being for real? Uh, also, what's this you me thing? Are you saying you don't know Top? You me is the only the gold standard of long-running sci-fi shoujo manga. Oh, God. 
Tatiana reads it too. Okay, either Tatiana has been reading it because Fuko's into it, or she was already reading it, and that's double the reason why she and Fuko bonded. It's got battles too, so even you can read it. Top gets the entirety of the union to read this manga. 101 volumes! Okay, it has to be based off of that one manga. There's 101 volumes. 101! Jesus! Look, I mean, if it could run that long. But when no one knows anything beyond the manga, there's no info about the author at all. Well, most manga authors are kind of very private people. That is correct. So Notori, if Yumi was drawn with an artificial G-liner as I predicted, ar artifact G-liner, G-liner. So the fact that Andy read all of it while Fuko was in the hospital. Oh my god, it's plot relevant. My god. As I predicted, the objects drawn themselves are not affected by the addition of new rules. Uh, in other words, the raw manuscript doesn't fall under the language unification and will still be in Japanese, right? Oh. Then no one would be able to read it past a certain point. The raw manuscript. Oh my god. Andy, Fuka. There are two things I want you to look into. I want the status of the raw manuscript and then tell on the author. Oh no, Uno. I'll leave the means up to you. If those two are anywhere, it would be at the publisher. But I doubt they'll show it to us just like that. Which means, right? Oh my god, he's already into it. So amazing. All we gotta do is whip up a killer manga and bring it to them. What? Really? <laughs> I guess after such a heavy series of events, it's, let's make a manga. Oh my god. Okay, that girl must be the author then, because she's got the pen. Huh. So can she create things when she draws? Huh. So it's like Roman, Rohan Kishibi from JoJo. Probably not the exact same abilities, but along the same lines. 2020. December 3rd. Undead plus unluck. Yeah, wasn't that the title of the uh, pilot chapter? I didn't actually read it though. Huh. Oh, they're gonna make the one shot that got Undead Unluck published in Shonen Jump, aren't they? Oh my god. <laughs> It's credit scroll like in Star Wars. Fine, Anna Uno, Julius, the leader of the union, is in a pinch due to the third seat holder Billy's betrayal of the organization. The fight back against Under. To fight back against Under, she gives orders to the ninth and tenth seat of the round table. As they sleep and rest and heal from their previous battle, they head off to the next. A whole new battle. Not, not bad grammar, all things considered. They are committed to the bit. Happy said you can use this room. I know I should shouldn't be commenting on this, but it's right there in my face. Miko has massive titty. Ju I'm just saying. It's hard to tell who has a bigger bust, Fuko or Miko. And Juiz is always in a suit, but I mean, she kept reaching into her shirt to pull out the manga, so it's just like, uh. And we know that Fuko wears a sports bra on top of that, so it's like, dang. Okay, I'm done. Thanks. Wait, is this an illustration room? Really? Well, I'm putting you out. You mind preparing the stuff on this list? Hey, hey, God. Mission, make a manga. What's that face? Uh, it's Red Bull. What are you stressing about? This is impossible. Why am I the one making it? I'm just a blissful connoisseur of fiction. There's a huge difference between being a reader and a writer. That is true. I'll handle wrapping it up. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. It's the steps towards making a manga? Your basic manga pipeline looks something like this. And you made a manga before? Not from scratch, no, but I dabbled a little when Tezuku was hyping up the manga industry. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, oh my god. Oh, right? Self-censored. Oh my god. Composition, background art, I got all that covered. What the hell is this? The base for it all. Now that's the spot where the passion from your soul weighs in. Nobody can help you there. True. We're seriously doing this, but you're the one with the most shoujo manga know-how. Oh my god. Oh my god, the shoujo manga sparkles. So you just gotta dream up a boyfriend and situation with him that'll make your heart throb to death. Oh my god. Can you manage that, Fuko? Uh, yeah. Just write a fan fiction. Come on. I say that like it's easy. Are you sure to are taking this in stride? I was expecting you to get far more embarrassed than that. I can't afford to do that. I don't want my shyness to cause any hangout. Oh, that's a cute pen. Hey, a little penguin with a top hat. That's so adorable. And besides, if Yumi really is a book of prophecy, then this page just might hold the key to stopping Mr. Billy and his group. Doing it for Tatiana, huh? Of course, that's one reason. But if I could do a good job on this manga, I think I'd be able to understand my own feelings better. Oh, and if I can do that, then, then I'll be able to summon even stronger strokes of unluck. Oh, wow. Actually taking this seriously. All right, that should be quite the treat. Hmm. Oh, God, that's a lot of Red Bull. Dead Bull. Uh, you would be dead drinking all that. How many days has it been? <laughs>
<laughs> I'd be embarrassed too, honestly. I actually don't want you to read too carefully in detail, like an actual editor. Sick. Wicked sick, in fact. Really? Hey, you're not just blowing smoke up her ass. Then again, Andy, Andy's not the type to just give meaningless platitudes. Gonna compose the storyboard now. I'll have it done in an hour. Everyone get ready to draw. Oh, everyone. <laughs> really? Miko, me, and the other dude whose name I don't know if I ever caught. Shaping. Uh, we're here per your request. Why them specifically? It's me and Miko. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, go pump some iron. Your power is too dangerous. That actually is a good point, Roger. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> what is this? That's so adorable. I want that. I, w I want I want the Fuko one. That is so adorable. Pan Panda. But a manga takes a lot of time to make. Not an issue. Miko, get the gear I asked for. Hey. <laughs> There's so much Miko in this episode. Gachink! Oh my god! Oh, they're moving on their own. With the brainwave operated arm robot arms, we finish up six times faster. Yeah, that's the thing that um Tatiana uses. Man, so many things are really coming in handy. This is six times fast. Brute force. Oh god. <laughs> I can't control them at all. It why did it go for the pants first? That's why I'm giving you an hour. An hour? Get used to them. You can't be serious. Oh my god! Apologies for the inconvenience. Oh god. Oh, oh, Tatiana can come in handy. Imagine looking down at yourself from above. Oh, <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, the rest is a piece of cake. Oh, oh, Tatiana. Time for training, Fuka. <laughs> Ah, I love this episode. Ended on the lock. Imagine looking down at yourself from above. Huh. Oh god. Okay. Tatiana, thank you for giving me the drill. Aww. Of course I did. We're friends. God, this is so wholesome. All Tatiana is seeing is Fuka's boobs, though. Thanks to you, I can move these around now. I wanted to help out with this manga, too, of course. Ah, they got the perfect voice actress for Tatiana. I've missed hearing her in anime. Well, at least to a significant degree. You'll have less space to work with but you're more than welcome before let's work together the storyboard's done that was fast love these interludes oh god oh my god it is literally undead unlock Oh my god. I mean, hey, tell him from a position that you know of god now i'm tempted to go and read the prototype manga god oh god they are actually all working at it jesus i mean even if it going off your brain waves i mean both draw and ink jesus i feel like even with these hands i still procrastinate and get nothing done <laughs> look at miko <laughs> even chikara <laughs> and you're just naturally going in on it i see some fuko titties in one of those panels god god <laughs> <laughs> this is wild! Dude! Okay, I don't think you should be drinking that many. God. <laughs> This is so wild. Aww. Oh yeah, she didn't have the beanie originally, did she? Or did she have it, lost it, but they wanted to keep her with it because it, it's kind of a good look for her. I feel like without her orange beanie, it, it wouldn't be Fuko. Oh my god. <sighs> This is both does and doesn't make me want to get back into drawing. And <laughs> he's- Oof, them abs. Simply pumping iron. <laughs> Pump is still reading them! <laughs> what volume are you on, bro? And of course, Ishin. Okay, are we gonna find out Ishin's a girl or an old man? Either one would be great. Oh, Phil. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Analyzing? Oh, even trees? I'll assist. Appreciate it. Oh my god. When you said it was a book of prophecies, I went back and reread you me again. All 101 volumes? Uh, there was nothing in it that suggested Mr. Billy's betrayal or our current set of quests. It said there were these awkward gaps. Awkward gap? The closer I got to the climax, the more apparent the plot holes became. Uh, sucks when uh, you go back over your favorite series and notice how imperfect it actually is. But I mean, if you love something, you're willing to work, look past some of the imperfections if it still, you know, makes you feel good. You're able to enjoy it. Like when I was reading each chapter as it came out, I'd often wonder if I somehow skipped the part. Oh. In other words, you believe the author intentionally left parts out. Oh. That's my guess. You need to confirm that aspect of this as well. Which friend do you want me to help next? Uh, what? What's that face? Wait, what? Why did she freeze up? And then, uh, here lies Chikara. <laughs> he couldn't handle it. Jesus. Yep. At some point, your body was gonna crash. <laughs> really? That, that was definitely Miko. <laughs> oh god, her finger. <laughs> 
Tatiana's literally burnt out. <laughs> She's still going. Okay, I had to go back because I'm still not sure. Was it that Juiz was too good or like she's naturally fast? Like, I don't get the joke. I feel like I'm missing a joke here. Ah. Oh well. Literally might as well title this Let's Make a Manga. Watch your boobs, Fuko. Don't get it on the manuscript or the freshly inked pages. <laughs> Analyzing more of the books. <laughs> he fell asleep reading it. And Ishin's still going. Oh, Shen? <laughs> Shen, you don't have to work out the entire time. Is it done? This is so serious. <laughs> I think how serious it is makes it funnier. Oh, she looks so tired. Poor baby. You can sleep on the plane ride to Japan. Yeah, literally. Oh my god, that is so wild to look at. And then, plus unlock. December 5th. Tokyo Junbocha. Oh man, they have a poster for it right outside the door. Wait, Shueisha? <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh no, Andy is not dressed in the manga. Oh my god, he's dressed in the manga author attire. <sighs> You're really going in there alone? Yeah, I think it'd be better if I went in with you. You know, you see, uh, let's just say you don't look the part of a shoujo manga artist. That is true. You know, our goal here is to win credibility for you. <laughs> That's harsh. Fuka does look like she draws shoujo manga, though. Oh, her original clothes, though. Ah, it's been so long. I actually kind of miss her in this outfit. I'm really sorry, just wait out here for me. I feel like Andy's actually a little upset. I feel like he's upset. Yeah, he's upset. He actually wanted to go in. Ooh, is that milk tea? Uh -huh. Oh, wait, what was that name? Tomako... Tohoka? Is, is she based off an actual person? Because I know some manga authors will base characters in their manga after actual people, but to actually have in the manga someone going, making a manga, going to Shueisha headquarters and pitching it to someone. I don't know. Hello there, sorry for the wait, you're a first timer, right? Ooh, she's cute. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what you got. <laughs> that, that does not have the look of a shoujo manga though. The Undead Plus Sadonaka. Oh, the plush is silent. <laughs> Feels like someone called it out by dumbass for enunciating the X in like Hunter Hunter or Spy Family. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't the author of this series remove the plus because they felt that it would, I don't know, get in the way or something? Oh, how long did this take you? Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know the standard I can say. It only took a day either. Wait. You guys worked on this in a day? Ah, oh, jeez. That's even worse working condition than most. Say a week. That's usually how much they expect. Yeah, about a week, yeah. A week? You drew this in a week? Yeah. Off the day, please don't look for me. I only said that to make a good impression. Manga artists of the world, forgive me. I know that's right. Composition is awfully refined. All this at just 18, huh? That's the part Andy handled. Character art is pretty good, huh? Of course, I like your composition. Your line work and designs aren't cut it. Don't cut it at all. Oof. Your art style is too old school. Oof. And she to lack design sense. <laughs> no taste in design. I feel like this is stuff the actual author heard. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But it has charm. I can, well, feel it. I feel like this, I need to know, was this actually said to the creator of Undead Unluck? Like, I need to know, because this is way too uncanny. This is freaking me out, man. I can feel you really love the hero of this story. Oh, did you base him on someone? Oh, uh, of course you wouldn't have a zombie boyfriend. <laughs> hey, if someone like that existed, I'd wind up falling for them. Aw. So do you want to submit this to the contest? I think it'll place great. Oh yes, please do. Oh, actually, I have a request if you don't mind. Oh, wait, she ate out the center? What? Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, man. This looks like an actual office. Is this based off of Shueisha's office? I, I feel like we've gone a little too deep. <laughs> I feel like we've gone a little too deep. When she said you're a UB fan, it all clicked. The manga is a unique one too. There's a heavy sense of use of sci-fi element. Normally this isn't allowed, but it's a special treat. Really? Oh man. I feel like you'd get in trouble for showing unfinished manuscripts to someone. And you're really showing me the raw manuscript? Sure, nowadays we're all about digital manuscripts, so changes that like this are pretty rare. Huh, you have to see the power uh, an analog manuscript holds. Uh, let's see. Huh? Well, that's odd. What's this writing? Oh, it's in Japanese, yeah. I and mean, it's in Japanese. Yeah, that seals it. Yumi is definitely a book of prophecy, Fuka. Yeah. Yumi has some rejected storylines, right? How do you know? Huh. Well, you see, Anasuka uh, has always excelled at story structure, so some awkward progression in later parts of the story stood out, I mean, don't get me wrong, it stayed great till the end, but... That's right, so you could tell 
He shoved three arcs. Three arcs. Wait, then how does the manga end? Three? The Kohei's betrayal arc, Billy. Unbreakable. The Four Kings of the Four Seasons arc. Oh. And the Ando's past arc. Oh. Ando's past? Both of you get in contact with Ando Una immediately. They intentionally left out details about the future. I want those details of why they were withheld. Under most oh god, that <laughs> That's a hell of a skylight. Under most likely has it caught on to this intel. Let's we'll seize it for ourselves and gain the upper hand. I can dispatch other members if necessary. I'll leave it to Andy to decide if he wants more members. But oh, well, we don't even know where Ano Sensei is. Uh, Ano Sensei? It's me, Tanyoka. Oh, I know you prefer to stay silent, so I'll cut to the point. The first matter is that the manuscript you have stored here might have been replaced. The other is, is that we need you to judge this month's contest. Uh, in the first matter, I'll give you a report after we've done some more investigating. As for a second, are you available? Would it be possible to speak with them? Huh? Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he came in anyway. I can do such a thing. Oh, oh god. This feels predatory. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, Anna Sensei. That's all the intimidation you need. This is where you come in handy, Andy. Nice to meet you. My name is Fuku Izumo. Would you mind reading my manga? I would appreciate it very much if you did. If it's too far for your convenience, I don't mind coming to you. You're wasting your breath. Anna doesn't speak to others. I've never even seen them before. Is it any good? Oh, oh they spoke. If it's an interesting read, then I'll meet with you. In five hours, come to the bench of Stanley Park in Canada. Canada? Wait, is that a depiction of Andy? Do they know? Both of you two together. Yeah, they know. Canada, though. Huh. This is the first time I've heard their voice. Mission accomplished. Memories of Fuku Izumo inside the Shuecha headquarters. Oh, they did a memory wipe. They men and blacked them. 1700 hours. Erased. To be continued. What a goddamn wild episode. It was completely plot relevant. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting us to go that inside baseball. Hmm. See, the opening makes it seem as though the author was a part of Under. Is that maybe not the case? And the opening makes it look like what they draw could also be, you know, brought to life. But maybe that's not the case. Huh. Well, you definitely got me interested in where we're going with all of this. So an arc about betrayal, Four seasons, and then something about someone's path. Huh. So will we actually learn about Andy? Cause I mean, to have gone through what Victor went through, that brings up a lot of questions. I can only imagine what Victor's been through too. This series continues to do some very fun and interesting things. And also, just the camaraderie of a lot of the characters. Just Fuko bringing in those who usually don't get to be involved with a lot of situations like this. And there continues to be a camaraderie between Fuko and Joeys that, I don't know, I guess I wasn't really expecting. Like, there is a genuine sense of togetherness that I, I really kind of love. You know, Fuko bringing in Tatiana, Joeys, <laughs> Chikara. Oh god, Chikara died in the line of duty. Mew. The one other dude, Miko. Miko actually got to be really involved. Like, Miko has been more and more involved lately, which is kind of fun. She, she's a very fun character. Makes me really wonder about her relationship with her father, too. Like, huh. I mean, it can't be that simple, though. We'll just have to see. Let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. I've been used as then, and I hope to see you later. Till then, bye bye.